You don't have a meltdown Monday. Hello and welcome. I hope your Monday's off to a good start. I'm Jenny Ann Chondo and for Don't Have a Meltdown Monday, we are bringing in Jennifer Street, who is a licensed clinical social worker. She's a therapist and founder of Life Renewal Counseling. Good morning, Jennifer. Good to see you. Thank you so much, Jenny. Good to be here. Well, the reason we wanted to talk to you was because, as I understand it, you're going to be giving sort of this presentation to others in your field across the state of Texas about really the benefits of sort of this virtual learning, virtual counseling, and maybe some of the pitfalls. So first, let's talk about some of the benefits of being able to see your therapist, see your counselor, you know, through a video screen. Definitely. One of the main benefits of telehealth is convenience, obviously, yeah. because you're not having to add into your day the travel time back and forth. And if you live in a place like Houston, you know, there's two, two million people just in our city, so traffic can be quite a, quite a barrier. Uh, but another benefit is not exposing yourself to COVID. And then people who are single parents, maybe you don't have childcare, you can schedule telehealth during baby's nap or you can do it after kids go to bed. So there's a lot of benefit in the convenience area. And then there's a lot of benefit as well in for people who just wouldn't go, for example, to a VA clinic or don't want to go into an outpatient clinic. Oh my gosh, I couldn't agree more. I, I've done uh, sessions sitting outside the mall you know, with Brighton sleeping in the car seat in the back, you know, just trying yeah. to get connection with yeah. somebody. So it really is such a such a great thing. And I think that almost during the pandemic, it was offered before a lot of therapists did it, but very few people that I know of took advantage. And now it's like everybody's doing it. But here's my other question. What happens if one of your clients is really experiencing a true crisis during that video call? What do you do? That's a great point, and that's the purpose of our webinar on Friday, is to talk about the safety measures around telehealth, because there are some things that would not make a client a good candidate for telehealth. For example, if they're actively experiencing domestic violence, it may not be safe for them to be having a telehealth appointment in their home where so they could be they overheard. Do? Um, so the therapist really needs to assess at the beginning of meeting the client whether they are appropriate for telehealth. And if they are, we would put a safety plan in place. We would also, if we're doing accelerated resolution, which is one of my primary treatment methods, we also have a support person present uh, during that session if the person were to become distressed. And that safety plan would involve knowing what to do and where to go if the person becomes so distressed that they can't be stabilized over telehealth. And that is one of the major concerns. Well, yeah, because you worry, oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm, you're there, I'm here. You know, what do you, do you hang up and call 911 as, as the therapist? Um, I would definitely stay on the line and also call um, 911 if there was a true emergency. Um, and I'll give you an example. One of the reasons the safety plan is so important, I had a, a client with a kidney stone and she got very sick and said, I have to go. I think I need to call 911. And then I couldn't reconnect with her. Oh, so gosh. I did send EMS to her home for a wellness check. Now, you so mentioned, that's why it's. Sorry, Jennifer. Sorry to interrupt. We got a little delay. You mentioned accelerated resolution therapy. You had me mm -hmm. at accelerated resolution. In 20 seconds, can you explain what that is? Yes, ART is an eye movement form of counseling that helps resolve traumatic memories and other things like prolonged grief. So similar to the EMDR technique, if you've ever heard of that, um, but ART is um, very effective. In an average of four sessions, people are reducing their post-traumatic stress symptoms by about 74%. Wow, that is an effective statistic. Jennifer, thank you so much, and I really appreciate you sharing the, the insight here. Thank you for having me. Her website is arttherapyinternational.org. She's also at liferenewalcounseling.org, and you can follow her on social media at LR Counseling.